Today we're going to look at getting started with RAD Context Menu. RAD Context Menu is part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. The RAD Context Menu for Silverlight WPF provides the power to boost the existing navigation of your application. RAD Context Menu allows you to create right-click context and pop-up menus with its advanced features like checkbox, radio button items, rich programming, and event model, RAD Context Menu gives you the entire control over its behavior. In this video, we're going to see how easy it is to get started using RAD Context Menu. We will begin by adding RAD Context Menu to a new Silverlight application and adding multiple RAD menu items to it. We will wrap up by showing you how to implement event handlers for the menu items the user selected. Let's go ahead and jump inside of Visual Studio 2010 and get started. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go File, New, Project, and I'm going to select Telerik, Silverlight, and then C Sharp, RAD Controls, Silverlight Application. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to give this the name of RAD Context Menu TTV and press OK. Once I did that, I'm going to host the Silverlight application in a new website and I'm also going to be using Silverlight version 5 for this demo. On the next screen, we're going to see the Project Configuration Wizard. I know that this lives in our navigation control, so I'm just going to scroll down just a tiny bit here and I'm going to place a check in telerik.windows.controls.navigation. And if I say scroll back up to the top, then uh, you will see telerik.windows.controls has been added automatically for us. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to hit the finish button. Once I hit the finish button, Visual Studio 2010 will begin spinning up our new Silverlight 5 project. And once it completes, if we look underneath our references here, then we will see that Telerik.windows.controls and Telerik.windows.controls.navigation has been added to our project automatically for us. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scroll over just a tan, tiny bit here and we will take a look now inside of our grid in our user control of our main page.xaml. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to replace this grid with a very simple stack panel. So I'm going to delete the grid and I'm going to type in stack panel and I'm going to set the vertical alignment to center and I'm going to set the horizontal alignment to center as well. So now that that's complete I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add in two very simple text boxes here. So I'm going to type in text box and we'll just give this the name of txt sample and we'll go ahead and we'll give it a width of something like 200 and then we'll go ahead and we'll add in another text box here and in this one we'll just give this a name of x dot name set to txt paste sample and again we'll give this a width of 200. So now that that's in place I'm going to go inside of my first text box and I'm going to begin adding in the rad context menu. So we'll begin by typing in Telerik rad context menu dot context menu and inside of that we'll begin by typing Telerik rad context menu and we'll set the placement here to a bottom and now we're just going to go ahead and we're going to add a few items. So the first item that I'm going to add is just going to be called Telerik Rad Menu Item and we'll just name this header as Copy. 
and we'll go ahead and we'll add a click event as well. So I'm just going to hit click and we'll just use the default rad menu item underscore click and close out of that tag. I'm now just going to go ahead and I'm going to drop in just a few more items. So I've added one for paste, one for cut, I've added a separator tag, and then I've added another one that says select all. So now that we've pasted in a couple of different options here, what we're going to need to do is to go back to our click event and add some code for our copy click event button handler. So I'm just going to double click back on my mainpage.xaml.cs and I'm just going to use clipboard dot set text to be our txt sample dot text and we'll close out of that tag. So let's just go ahead and save everything and then we'll go ahead and we will run the application and once we run the application you see we have our two text boxes here we have a first text box listed here and then another one below it of course if we right click on this one then we're not going to see anything except for just silver light but if we right click on our first one here then we'll see we have our options to copy paste cut or select all so we've added in code for copy so we could just type in the word telerik here and we could select copy and of course now Silverlight's going to ask us do you want to allow this web application to access your clipboard we're going to select yes here I'm going to come back down here and then I'm just going to hit control V and you'll see that it was pasted into our application so I hope this first video helped you understand some of the core concepts on getting RAD context menu into your Silverlight application as always, please tune in to tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements. Thank you.